In this video, I'm going to show how to make a keyway slot along with this um, kind of arc shape at the end of the slot um, for a key system. Okay, so we're going to start out by just coming over to our CAD operations and do 3D CAD and do new 2D sketch. And then we're going to make a circle and just click on the origin here and go out. And I'm going to set a radius of 3 eighths, which will give us a 3 quarter inch shaft diameter. Okay, and um, then I'm going to do create a rectangle, two corners rectangle, and I'll just kind of make a little box like that. And we'll type in some exact dimensions. We'll do negative um, 75 thousandths in X, and then positive 75 thousandths in X for the other dimension. So that'll give us 150 thousandths um, width here in our keyway slot. And then, um, so this Y just determines kind of the top of the rectangle, which is not significant. The bottom here is what is significant. So we're going to do, um, so this would be, you know, 375 at the very top. So let's just go ahead and go down pretty deep. Let's do like quarter. So that would give us um, an eighth of an inch from the top here to the bottom or a quarter of an inch from the center to the bottom of our keyway. Okay, so um, let's just look at one way that we can simply extrude this. Um, this is not what we're going to end up with. I'm just going to show real quick. We can just basically trim around there. Then we have the entire profile of our keyway. And then we can come over here to 3D CAD and just extrude. Basic, right? The problem with this is we don't have um, the part of the shaft Afterwards, it doesn't have a keyway, so um, this is not going to work for, for what we're doing, but for some applications, that may be sufficient. So we're going to go ahead and just delete the extrude, and um, we're also delete the trim, so we're back to where we were here. And now we'll just extrude just the circle alone, and let's go ahead and make that negative two inches. Oops, negative two inches, okay? And then we'll extrude again Oops, hang on a second here. We'll extrude again um, just the, the rectangle part of it. And rather than saying new, we're going to say subtract. Okay, And our depth of one inch is fine. That's going to be half of the uh, length of our cylinder here. Okay, So that's looking good. So um, now comes the slightly more complicated part. And that's this arc right here. And this is really true 3D. It's not a pr prismatic 3D like this. This is, this is true 3D. So the way we're going to do that is we are going to insert a primitive. It's going to be a cylinder. And we're going to um, shrink this down. The height of the cylinder is going to be 0.15. And we pick 1.5 because that's the uh, width of our rectangle. So that's the width of our key slot here, basically. OK. and um, leave a diameter of one inch and then we're going to have to transform this around a little bit so we're going to click on transform here we'll add first a rotation followed by an offset so the rotation is going to be around the y-axis right it's going to be around this axis we want to rotate 90 degrees that way so we drop this down to rotate 90 degrees around y Okay, and now we're going to want to center that with the keyway, so we're going to move it by our half of our width of the keyway. Okay, so now we're centered that way. And this dimension is easy in the z-axis. We're going to move negative one um, because that's the depth of our um, of our keyway here. And then it's a little bit harder to get the y dimension, right? Because um, we have to do a little bit of math. But it's not that hard. So the cylinder, the diameter is one, so that gives us a radius of 0.5. So let's just um, make our y dimension 0.5 just so we can see what it does. And now if I turn off um, our extrude here, that's going to basically put the bottom of the cylinder on our axis, on the, the coordinate axis system. So that's not what we want, of course, we want to raise it up a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and raise it up by the half inch plus the dimension to go from the center of the cylinder to the bottom of the keyway, which we know is a quarter of an inch. So we can just say plus 0.25, and that should give us um, the bottom of the cylinder is exactly tangent with the bottom of the keyway here. Okay. So now it's just a matter of subtracting these two. So we just go to Boolean, 
and we are going to drop this down and pick our two solids. Just first pick our um, main cylinder and then the second cylinder here. And we don't want to do the intersection of the two, we want to do the difference of the first minus the second. Okay. And there we go. That's pretty much it. And uh, let's change that color. Something like that. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks.